good morning. I'm gonna have my eyes on the road during this, but I just wanted to say I'm going to show you my daughter's closet nursery. It was a storage closet, but we transformed it into a nursery with just a few simple steps. It was a pretty dingy place with like raw wood shelves. Definitely the previous owner had done themselves. And we painted, we, me, painted the trim around the room a white. And then I painted the walls kind of a mauve pink. I wanted it pretty bright pink. It is a weird room because there's no electrical outlets in there. The light that is in there is hooked up to a, some sort of circuit where the when the door closes, the light goes off. And when the door opens, the light comes on which has been really weird. So we just took the light bulb out and opted for a night light situation that's motion detected. And that's been much better for us. And we can always put the light bulb in if we need to. Otherwise it was too jarring for her when we would open the door in the middle of the night if she needed water or something. So this has been the best alternative thus far. When you go into my daughter's room, we have the light off in there and we have this night light that is motion censored and you'll come in and we keep it pretty dark but it's easiest for sleeping. We have some display birds and a little beaded wreath and she actually sleeps in a pack and play that was mine when I was a kid. And we just keep two blankets in there but it's pretty simple right when you walk in. You can see where it was a closet before and I will show you in the next clip with the light on what we do as far as keeping the storage in there. But she has her bean bag and her bike and we took out that bottom shelf. She has one exposed shelf, but we don't even really have anything to put on it because we keep her clothes in the dresser in the shared kids room she will move into in the future. But I keep this, it's actually a bath towel, but I just like the patterning, the waffle knit, and I think it's from Parachute, but I keep it hooked up there and I have one of my pictures in there for her her little woven purse on a hook, and I keep this stool in there to reach the storage stuff, and we put things on it or sit next to her in her bed. But we keep, she has one little stuffed animal that she doesn't really like, and we keep that on her bed for her. And all her decorations are high enough to where she can't reach them. And this was originally a shelf as well, but we just painted over it, and we kept the shelf in case we ever wanted to return it to a storage closet. But I painted all the trim white in here just to give it a little bit more of a feminine touch, and then have kind of a pink mauve paint color. It's pretty feminine, but I really like it. So if the next baby happens to be a boy, you might like pink. But yeah, we have three different shelves here. And this is just baby stuff that we keep for potential children or friends that are having kids. And this is our boxes for our snow boots we'll put in here. All of our winter coats and gear we'll put in there when it's off season. And that's for my husband and I's bulky I was watching the edits I just wanted to add so far she's been in there about two months and it works really well it's a pretty insulated room from sound and there's no windows we thought ventilation would be an issue and we were going to put battery powered air purifiers or fans in there we tried an air purifier and it did not last through the night so it was kind of counterproductive and had bright lights on it she doesn't seem to be bothered but as summer comes we might need to add a fan and I will keep you guys posted on that if that is something that comes into play. And she will also be moving out of that room, we would hope in about six months or so, into the shared kids' room. But we'll see. And the pack and play she sleeps in is something we use our minimalist ways and take with us when we travel as well. So it works out really well for us to have that in there as her bed. And it fits perfectly in that spot in the closet bedroom nursery. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.